Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad Fans. This is Mad Mike Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got part three of my pistol playbook, pistol weak slot flex formation. Uh, this formation, man, I was so happy somebody in the comments section told me to work on this. So if you guys have any other special playbooks like West Coast or whatever, let me know in the comment section what you want me to work on next. Let me know what's good. I went in the West Coast book uh, one time just kind of messing around and it has a lot of really unique formations. I'll probably go to that next. Uh, if you guys want to see me continue with these custom, with these, with these weird books, uh, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. Let me know uh, because I'm having fun with them. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to continue with some pass plays. I probably got three pass plays and maybe four. Uh, I'm not sure if they'll all make this video. Uh, they might be. Uh, might the rest might be on Patreon. Um, so that might be something you guys might have to check out over there. Uh, link in the description below if you want to do that. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and let's do the first pass play, and that's going to be the PA power option pass. I don't know why it's called an option because it's not really like a run option, but it's whatever. So let's go and let's pick that. The theme of this video uh, series has been I motion this tight end out. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Like you can do two things with this tight end. First of all, you got to put him on a route to move, to motion him out. I don't think you can motion him as is. Actually, I guess you can. Uh, but one of the options, you have to put him on a route before you motion him. Because one of the options is putting him on a wheel route. And you can't do that once he's to the line of scrimmage. If you try to put him on a wheel route the line of scrimmage, um, it becomes a, what is it, a drag route? Oh, no, a fade, whatever. So your options there, if you motion him first, is the second option and putting him on a drag route. If you put him on a drag route, you got three levels of passing. It's pretty good between him and then moving back to Jeffrey and then moving back to Smith. Uh, so it's really up to you. The concept of putting him on a wheel route is very similar to a play that I put out already um, earlier in this series of videos, uh, but it's still a really good play. So it's really up to you what you want to do. I would say uh, in, on any of these scenarios, though, you probably want to put uh, your, your running back on a pass block. So let's go ahead and let's rock it like this one time. We're going to do a couple of different things. we got a man coverage. Anytime you got a man blitz, Jeffrey is just going to smoke that. And you see right there, that's just a really easy pitch and catch. He's going to be going every time. So I'll run like this once or twice, and then I'll move on to the drag. Because I personally think the drag is a better play. Uh, but this is really good. As you can see it's really glitchy. This wheel, this wheel route coming out of that formation is going to get you 10 yards easy. This wheel route against zone coverages is just going to murder it. Um, if it's a man coverage, uh, your circle route is going to murder that. I mean, the triangle route is pretty good against that too. As, as I didn't, I threw it a little bit faster. It didn't really come out good. So I'm going to do burden like this once or twice, and then I'm going to put them on a drag. I really think the drag option is probably better. Um, as you can see there, oh, Jeffrey is just a really good second option. I haven't really talked about Smith too much. He's a really good route against cover two. This looks like it's a cover three, so I'm not really going to worry too much about that. But let's go ahead and let's work this drag route. I haven't really done this too much. Um, we're going to go ahead. The drag route, really, its purpose is to pull down coverage and open up this guy. That's one of the good things about it. Is it's going gonna, it's gonna to pull down those yellow zones, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to tell the... Um, it's going to tell the linebackers to let the passing go, the deeper passing go off to the safeties, which is what's good about that drag. And if it doesn't, then he's going to be wide open underneath anyway. So it's really, you know, it works out in your favor no matter what, really. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do the uh, the drag adjustment once or twice more, and then we're going to move on. Because I, I don't know. I might try to do three or four plays in this video. This looks like it's a definite man coverage. I could have went to that circle route, but I went to that enough on man coverages. So we're going to go underneath the burden. It's just that easy trying to showcase some of these other plays and we got another man so I'm gonna to try to finish this by hitting triangle because he is an option if you if you get him open and we got that window but I don't know if I should have passed late outside probably could have caught that for a touchdown but it's all good so we're gonna go out and we're gonna move on everything there's pretty much a man beater I might do three plays in this video and then three plays in the next video because um, I, I think if I if I do two, I'll have a couple left over. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to move on uh, to another uh, pretty, you know, the, the, this, this whole video right here is going to be kind of cheesy plays. And I'm going to continue that with the Saints. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, with the Slants Y stick. I don't know if I have anybody I can put in a little bit faster at this running back spot. I wish I could put uh, Sproles or, or Smallwood out there, but you know what? We're going to go ahead. We're going to continue with my man, uh, where's my running back? I just, oh, you know, he's at, the, uh, he's at the running back spot. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put Ajayi at the running back spot so I can open him up, my man Barner, and put him at the uh, the tight end slash fullback spot. So now we got a little bit more speed up there. So let's go ahead and let's pick the slants Y stick. 
So this play right here, like I said, doesn't look too special, but all you really gotta do is continue this motion. And you might give it away a little bit because I got a running back there now. I'm not gonna say that it's not, but um, th once you do this, you're gonna see how that running back just gets wide open in the flats nine times out of 10. I'm not sure if he's gonna get it on this play. Uh, but other than that, I could also say a good idea is to put Ertz here on slant, kind of have him going across the grain, or you can put him on a drag so he comes open underneath these guys, uh, or you can put him on an out route. I mean, that's a decent option too. There's really a couple different options with, with the tight end. Most of these plays you can do what you want with the tight end. So I'm really looking at this running back though. I had a feeling he wasn't getting the leverage there to start that play and it was a man coverage too so typically that swing route's not gonna work on a man that swing route's really more about zones uh, but you're gonna see here this looks like a zone so you're gonna see here i'm gonna get this dude wide open in the flats uh, if he yeah he does that they totally switched off and i'm just getting a nice easy 10 yards that's gonna be the play right there easy instant 10 so it's really easy. If you see a man coverage, which this looks like a man coverage, you already know that your your first read's not going to be triangle. It's going to be it's going to be one of the slants. It's going to be Ertz. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to we're going to hit that Ertz uh, again because anytime I got a man coverage, he's going to bust that outside real easy on whoever's covering him. Especially if you got a speed guy. So here. Um, this looks like we have a uh, a zone, so I'm gonna go ahead and put Ertz on a slant here in the zone. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna be getting that triangle route open anyway, as you can see here. He just doesn't keep up, and then they just kind of switch off, and then I'm just getting easy ten, easy ten to fifteen every time, instant. The only thing that would really get in Barner's way is a cover two hard flat, uh, Tampa two cover two sink. Those things would not. Uh, but you can see how they keep jamming that uh, that receiver off the line. It just gives Barner a free release in the flat every time. So this here looks like another zone. I'm going to try to hit one of these slants. I don't want to keep going to Barner. It's just so easy to get to him. I mean, I can't help it. Like, he's just there. That was actually a lot better pursuit than he had in other plays. So Van Noy making a play there, but that's the rare play. Out of every time I run it, that's the one time where he got there and kept him under 10. And then we're going to go ahead and get that flat again, and we're just going to make a do miss for getting an easy 10. I mean, it's a 10 every time. Now, if you see that it's a man coverage... You don't necessarily need to waste Barner's route. If it is a man, this is a zone I can tell already. But if it is a man coverage, you could always put Barner back on a drag. Uh, but like I said, this is not. This is this is still a zone. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna treat it like a regular zone. Uh, but like I said, I really would like to hit one of these other routes. But uh, you know, it's just the the, the Barner is really the first and second and last read when it comes to the zone plays. So um, it's really hard to look at any other way. But uh, realistically, when you have a swing route like this that's so consistent, if you use it a couple times, you're gonna move that user out of the center of the field, and that's gonna make this circle route that much better. Uh, and the slanting tight end, like I did on that particular play. So that's what that's what the benefit is of being up these flats like this um, as you really get a lot of opportunities um, to, to you know make the user you're playing pay attention to um, the outsides and that'll really open up the middle so make sure if you're using this play pay attention to the middle of the field if you get the user out of the middle of the field so let's go ahead and let's move on need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below